Welcome to a new episode of our show. This is where we all try to find the keys to a better, more fulfilling life. Today, we're going to get to the heart of a subject that is important for everyone, from students to business leaders to teachers, how to manage your time well by planning ahead. Time is something we often think of as something that just goes by and that we can't do much about. But the truth is that time is the most shared and restricted thing we have. There are 24 hours in a day for everyone, but how we spend them can have a big effect on our personal and work lives. That's why knowing how to manage our time is not only a good idea, it's a must for anyone who wants to do great things. Have you ever felt like there aren't enough hours in the day to get everything done? Or maybe you thought you could have used your time better before going to bed. You're not by yourself. Everyone feels this way, and the best way to get over it is not to work longer hours, but to work smarter. This is where you need to plan. Making a list of things you need to do is not enough to plan your day, week, or even month ahead of time. It's about setting realistic goals, deciding what tasks are most important, and most importantly, making time for rest and fun. If you plan ahead, you can see not only where you're going, but also how you got there and change your route as needed. In this episode, we'll explore various strategies that have proven effective in increasing productivity and improving time management. We'll discuss the importance of preparation the night before, which sets the stage for a successful and less stressful day. We'll talk about how structuring your days can give you a sense of control and how small changes in your morning routines can significantly impact your entire day. Additionally, we'll dive into how to identify and leverage your personal prime time, which is that part of the day when you feel most energetic and capable of tackling complex challenges. And for those who spend a lot of time in transit, I'll share tips for turning those seemingly lost periods into productive opportunities. With these tools and techniques, our goal is to turn each day into an opportunity to advance toward your goals, feel more fulfilled, and eventually achieve a balance that enhances all areas of your life. It will be exciting to embark on this journey of discovery and improvement, so get ready, adjust your headphones, and let's dive into how you can plan to do more and be more starting today. Now that we know how important it is to handle our time well, let's move on to the first part of our talk, the power of planning ahead. Most of the time, people who follow this concept consistently get more done and are happier with their lives. Planning ahead isn't just a strategy, it's a way of life that changes how we live each day. Imagine for a moment that every day is a trip through space you don't know. Going backwards or getting lost would be easy if you didn't have a map or guide. Making plans ahead of time gives you direction and the tools you need to get through the day with confidence and efficiency. It's not about having things to do all the time, it's about picking the right things to do, when and how to get the most out of our time, and be happy. It all starts the night before. Now is the best time to be still and think about what's coming up. Not only do you look over what you've done during the last day, but you also plan and prioritize what you need to do the next day. Not only are you planning your day, but you're also getting your mind ready for what's to come. Setting goals and priorities, making a to-do list, and even picturing how you will deal with the problems you will face the next day all have a strong effect on your mind. While you sleep, your mind continues to work processing and organizing this information, allowing you to wake up with a sense of direction and purpose. Often solutions to problems or creative ideas arise after a night's rest when you've set the stage in this way. Another significant benefit of advanced planning is how it can improve the quality of your sleep. Stress and anxiety about what's to come can rob us of vital rest. How many times have we found ourselves stressed in bed, worrying about forgetting a crucial task for the next day? By offloading these thoughts and responsibilities into a concrete plan, we free our minds from the burden of remembering. This in turn allows us to sleep more deeply, resulting in a fresher and more refreshed awakening. One of the most critical aspects of advanced planning is setting priorities. In an ideal world, we would get everything done on our list, but we only have so much time and energy for now. This is where being able to set priorities is very useful. You should ask yourself, what are my most important tasks? What kinds of activities have the most effect on me? By setting these goals and giving them enough time, you make sure that the most important things don't get missed. Setting clear goals for the next day is part of planning ahead, but there must also be room for freedom in case something unexpected comes up. It's just as important to be able to change as it is to plan. So when planning your day, you might want to include buffer times or breaks that let you deal with the unexpected without throwing off your whole plan. It might be hard at first to make planning ahead a daily habit, especially if you're used to acting on the spur of the moment. But like any other skill, it gets better with practice and regular use. 
Making this a nightly habit will not only help you get better at planning, but it will also help you think more positively about life. The power of advanced planning is immense. It allows you to take control of your day before it even begins, reduces stress, improves your sleep, and positions you to make the most of every opportunity. By integrating this practice into your life, you're taking a giant step towards smarter productivity. Now let's delve into how to structure these plans effectively to maximize each moment of your day. This is the essence of maximizing daily structure, and it's where you truly start to see the transformation of your time and efforts into tangible results. When we talk about structuring your day, we're referring to creating a time framework that allocates specific blocks for specific tasks. This goes beyond having a simple to-do list. It's about intentionally assigning time blocks to particular activities based on their priority and the energy they require. The goal is to minimize time wastage and maximize productivity without sacrificing well-being. Dividing your day into time blocks can be revolutionary. Imagine your day as a set of empty containers that you need to fill with planned activities. Some of these containers will be large, intended for projects or tasks requiring uninterrupted focus, while others will be smaller, perfect for quick tasks or breaks. The act of blocking time does more than just help you organize. It also helps you respect your limits and those of your work. For example, if you block out two hours to work on a project without interruptions, you know that's your time to dive deeply into that task without distractions. Similarly, scheduling breaks consciously allows you to recharge without feeling guilty or stressed about not doing something. It's important to set priorities for these time blocks based on how important and urgent each job is. The Pareto Principle says that if you do 80% of the things that you can, you will get 80% of the results. Find that 20% and make sure those blocks of time are safe and unbroken. This way, you can be sure that the things that are most important to your success get the time and energy they need. Taking into account your own rhythm is important when planning your day. Everybody has times when they can get the most done. Here, this could be early in the morning for some and late at night for others. Plan your most difficult jobs for when you have the most energy. Not only does this make it more likely that you will finish them successfully, it also makes it easier to do so. Structure is important, but so is being able to change things. If something unexpected comes up or a job takes longer than planned, be ready to change your plans. Having an open or free time block every day can save your life. You can use this time to deal with interruptions or to keep working on projects that need it so that delays don't throw off your other important plans. Last but not least, order is for every day, not just one. Planning your time in the same way every day can help you form habits that turn into a useful practice. After a while, this pattern will feel natural to you. This will make planning each day easier so you can focus on doing a great job. Maximizing daily structure isn't just about filling every hour with work. It's about creating a daily rhythm that balances productivity, creativity, and rest, allowing you to not only accomplish more, but also be happier and healthier in the process. We've covered advanced planning and how to effectively structure our day. Now, let's dive into another powerful aspect of maximizing our potential, the benefits of rising early. This habit, embraced by many of the world's most successful thinkers, leaders, and creators, has the potential to radically change how we interact with our daily lives. Waking up early puts you in an advantageous position. Starting the day before most people gives you a space of tranquility that's hard to find at any other time. The early morning hours are usually the quietest. Fewer calls, fewer notifications, and fewer interruptions. This silence provides a perfect environment for focus and reflection, allowing you to tackle complex tasks or spend time on planning without the usual distractions that fill the day. Early in the morning is also a time when a lot of people feel they're most energetic. We feel better and more sharp after a restful sleep, which makes us perfect for tasks that need a lot of mental or creative energy. Many studies back up this idea, saying that our ability to solve problems and be creative may be highest in the early hours after we wake up. When you get up early, you can also plan your day without having to worry about what other people want or expect of you. You should set goals for the day, go over your plans, and make sure you're on the right track right now. Using this time for these things can help you set clear goals for the rest of the day, which can make you feel a lot less anxious and stressed. In addition to the productivity benefits, rising early gives you more time for yourself. This can include morning exercise, meditation, reading, or simply time alone, which can be incredibly rejuvenating and empowering. This personal time is crucial not only for your physical and mental well-being, but also for maintaining a healthy balance between work and personal life. 
The act of rising early is itself an exercise in discipline. It requires you to commit to a regular schedule, which can strengthen your willpower and self-control in all areas of life. This discipline can have a domino effect on other habits and responsibilities, improving your overall ability to manage your time and obligations. Interestingly, waking up early can also improve your long-term sleep quality. By establishing a regular sleep and wake schedule, you can better synchronize your biological clock, making it easier to fall asleep and wake up naturally without the need for alarms. Additionally, those who rise early often report better sleep quality as their bodies adjust to a more natural and consistent rhythm. In the end, getting up early isn't just a way to get more hours. It's an all-around plan that improves your health, efficiency, and readiness for the day. If you want to see how this habit changes, how you manage your time, how you feel during the day, and how it affects your general performance, give it a week. So far, we've talked about how planning ahead, having a good daily routine, and getting up early can change how well we do our jobs. Now we'll talk about how to get better at personal planning, which is a key part of being productive and efficient over the long term. Organizing yourself is more than just keeping your work clean and your to-do list up to date. It's about making a method that works with your life and goals. You can find what you need when you need it with a good planning system. It also takes the stress out of remembering all the little things so you can focus on what's important. Decluttering both in real life and online is the first thing that you should do to get better at personal order. A cluttered area can reflect and make your mind even more cluttered. Spend some time cleaning up your home and office. Get rid of or file away things you don't need or use. The same applies to your digital space. Clean up your digital desktop, organize your files into clear categories, and get rid of what only serves as a distraction. The next step is to establish systems that work for you. This could mean having a detailed calendar, using task management apps, or setting up automatic reminders for important dates and deadlines. Personal organization isn't a one-time effort. It requires consistency and maintenance. Dedicate time each week to review and adjust your systems. This not only keeps you aligned with your goals, but also allows you to be flexible and adapt to changes. It's important to remember that as your circumstances or priorities change, your organization system should evolve as well. Don't underestimate the power of the right tools and resources. From simple notebooks for jotting down ideas to sophisticated project management apps, the right tools can make a significant difference in your ability to stay organized. Research and experiment with different tools to find the ones that best complement your work style. Being well organized can help you feel less stressed, work faster, and have more time on your hands. Along with making you work better, it makes you smarter. When you have a good system in place, you'll have more energy to focus on creativity and new ideas because you won't have to spend as much time chasing down lost documents or dealing with chaos. Getting better at personal organization means setting up and keeping up a method that helps you reach your goals. It's not enough to just be neat, you need to be carefully organized as well. If you follow these steps, you'll be ready to take on bigger problems and every day will be useful and satisfying. As we move on to the next section, I want you to think about how you can get better organized and what systems you could add or change to make your daily life easier and less stressed. Now let's talk about an important idea that can make a huge difference in how much work you can get done. Finding and using your prime time. Your personal prime time is the time of the day when you feel the most awake, focused, and alert. Your capacity to handle difficult jobs, make significant choices, or do creative activities is at its peak at this time. For many, this could be right when they wake up in the morning. For some, it might be late at night. The important thing is to figure out when your own peak happens. The first step to making the most of your prime time is to identify it. This may require some experimentation and self-observation over the course of a week. Try tracking how you feel at different times of the day. When do you feel most productive? When do ideas flow most easily? At what time of day do you manage to focus best on complex tasks without feeling fatigued? These signals will help you discover your personal performance peak. Once you identify your prime time, the next step is to structure your day around this period. Dedicate these high energy hours to your most important or challenging tasks. These might include work projects that require deep thinking for new ideas or any activity that benefits from your heightened cognitive and creative abilities. Protecting this time is crucial. Try to minimize interruptions by scheduling meetings, calls, or administrative tasks outside of this period. Inform your colleagues and family that this is your uninterrupted work time. Consider turning off notifications and dedicating this time exclusively to activities that require your full attention and skill. To maximize the effectiveness of your prime time, 
ensure that your work environment supports your focus and efficiency. This might mean having a clean and organized workspace, using tools that enhance your productivity, and having all necessary resources at hand before your prime time begins. Additionally, maintaining good health habits, such as a proper diet, regular exercise, and adequate nightly rest can help maximize your performance during these critical hours. Keep in mind that your prime time may change based on your health, everyday life, and other factors. To keep making the most of these times when you're most productive, be flexible, and make changes to your plan as needed. If you notice that your busiest time is changing, be sure to look at your plan again and make changes as needed. Last but not least, don't forget how important rest is. Sometimes you might want to make the most of your best hours, but remembering to take short breaks often can help keep your mind sharp and your energy high. Besides making your work last longer during these busy times, this also helps you keep up a high level of output over time. Find your personal prime time and use it well. This can be one of the most effective things you can do to boost your productivity and efficiency. I want you to think about and try out these ideas over the next few days. Take note of how small changes in when and how you work can have a big effect on what you get done. Remember that every step you take to learn more about how you focus and use your energy brings you closer to reaching your full potential. These thoughts should make you want to keep looking for ways to do and be more every day. We have explored how to plan, structure our day, and take advantage of our most productive moments. Now let's shift our focus to an often overlooked aspect of productivity, staying productive while traveling. Traveling, whether for work or leisure, presents specific challenges that can disrupt our daily productive routine. Changes in schedules, waiting at train stations or bus terminals, long periods in the car, or on long flights can seem like difficult barriers to maintaining our usual performance. However, with meticulous planning and the adoption of appropriate strategies, these transit periods can become valuable opportunities to be productive. The first step to ensuring productivity during travel is meticulous planning before you depart. This includes preparing all the materials you'll need, from important documents to chargers for your electronic devices. Make sure you bring everything necessary to work effectively. The key is to anticipate your needs to avoid interruptions in your workflow. Surprisingly, bus stops and train stations are great places to concentrate. A lot of the time, they offer a quiet spot to work away from the normal distractions of home or the office. While you wait, you can listen to courses, train, go over papers, or make plans for the future. You can use any waiting room as a temporary office if you have headphones and a clear list of things you need to do. Your laptop or tablet is your best friend when you're moving. You might want to buy portable keyboards, external batteries, or universal plugs to make working from home easier. You can stay productive no matter where you are by setting up a mobile work zone where all of your devices and work supplies are easy to get to. Check out travel-themed apps and tools, such as ones that help you find the fastest Wi-Fi in your area and ones that let you view your cloud-based files from any device. These tools can make it a lot easier to keep track of your work when you're not in the same place as normal. You don't have to waste time while traveling in order to get things done. Through smart planning, you can use every part of your trip to get work done, think about projects, or just relax and recharge. If you use these tips on your next trip, you'll be able to stay productive no matter where you are. As we reach the end of this episode, I want to remind you of the importance of managing your time well and taking a moment to reflect on the journey we've embarked on today. From advanced planning and effective structuring of our days to making the most of our most productive moments and maintaining efficiency even while traveling, we have covered a broad range of strategies designed to enhance not only how we work, but how we live. Each strategy we've explored is a step toward greater mastery of our time and energy. By implementing these techniques, we aim not only to maximize our productivity, but also to improve our quality of life. Let's remember that the ultimate goal of productivity is not just to do more in less time, but to ensure that the time we spend working and living is as effective and fulfilling as possible. Before we wrap up, I encourage you to put into practice at least one of the strategies we discussed today. Perhaps it's adjusting your schedule to take advantage of your prime time, or maybe improving your personal organization to reduce daily stress. Whatever you choose, remember that even the smallest change can have a significant impact on your day-to-day -day life. And of course, let us know how these ideas work for you. Have you found the best time for you? Have you thought about how to get things done while you're away? Leave a message on our platform or on one of our social media pages to share your thoughts and stories with us. Your feedback not only motivates us, but it also helps us get better at making content that really hits home and makes your life better. If this episode was helpful to you, please subscribe to our podcast 
and share it with coworkers or friends who might also find it useful. Every share and subscription helps us get bigger and keep making material that helps people like you reach their full potential. Please watch the next show where we will talk about new aspects of being productive and successful in life. Until then, I hope your days are full of energy, productivity, and most of all, 